Hello, I'm James Mayhew and I'm here to tell you a very special Christmas story all about a little girl called Katie and her brother Jack. The story is called Katie's London Christmas. It was Christmas Eve and Katie and Jack were fast asleep at Grandma's house. Outside the snow fell and all was quiet. At you! Katie and Jack woke up. Who sneezed? said Jack. Not me, said Katie. At you! Perhaps it was Grandma, said Jack. Let's take a look, said Katie, and they tiptoed downstairs. Somebody was putting presents under the Christmas tree, but it wasn't Grandma. Achoo! It's Father Christmas, whispered Katie. I think he has a cold. Father Christmas blew his nose. I still have so much to do, he sighed. We'll help, said Katie and Jack. You two should be asleep, smiled Father Christmas. But it would be lovely to uh, have some helpers. So Katie and Jack put on their coats and boots and followed Father Christmas outside. The snow crunched under their feet as Father Christmas led them to his sleigh. Katie and Jack were very excited to meet his reindeer. When everyone was ready, Father Christmas gathered the reins and whoosh! Up, up they flew through the swirling snowflakes. Let's take a look at London in the snow, said Father Christmas. Hold on tight. They flew over Regent Street in and out of strings of Christmas lights that sparkled like colourful stars. In Covent Garden, the last few people were hurrying home for Christmas after an evening at the ballet. Katie and Jack waved to some carol singers trying to keep warm and ballerinas dancing in the snow. As they flew over Trafalgar Square, Katie and Jack saw a dazzling Christmas tree. They waved to the big bronze lions, and they were sure that one of them waved back. Then they swooped over the Houses of Parliament and flew twice around Big Ben, just for fun. This is fantastic, shouted Katie. More, more, laughed Jack. <laughs> Chew, sneezed Father Christmas. Then Father Christmas steered the sleigh to some distant rooftops. Time to deliver some presents, he said, blowing his nose. <laughs> How will we get down the chimneys? asked Katie. A little bit of Christmas magic, chuckled Father Christmas. When they landed, Father Christmas clapped his hands. The air around them sparkled and Katie and Jack found themselves floating down the chimney. Father Christmas showed them how to leave presents without waking anyone up. And then they dashed from street to street and roof to roof, whizzing up and down chimneys, big and small, delivering presents to all kinds of houses. And now, the very last house on my list, said Father Christmas, with a twinkle in his eye. Can you guess where? Oh, please tell us, said Katie and Jack. They swept over St James's Park 
high over Horse Guards Parade and down the Mall. There it is, chuckled Father Christmas. Katie and Jack gasped. <gasps> Buckingham Palace! Father Christmas sorted out the presents and then chose one of his favourite palace chimneys. Are you ready? he asked. Oh yes, said Katie and Jack. They whizzed down the royal chimney and, when Katie opened her eyes, they were by a grand fireplace. There were no stockings, so they looked for a Christmas tree. There before them stood a huge Christmas tree and underneath were lots of royal dogs sleeping peacefully. Shh, whispered Father Christmas, we don't want to wake the corgis. But then his nose began to twitch. Oh no, I think I'm going to... Achoo! At once all the dogs woke up. They began to sniff the royal presents. Look, some are shaped like bones, giggled Katie. They must be presents for the dogs, laughed Jack. Is anyone there? called a regal sounding voice. A door began to open. Oh no, said Father Christmas, we mustn't be seen, quick. They left all the presents by the tree and ran to the fireplace. Here goes, said Father Christmas. The air sparkled and just in time, up, 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 they flew. It had stopped snowing and the sky was full of stars as they galloped up into the air, homeward bound. All done for another year, yawned Father Christmas. Oh, time for a rest. Soon they were safely back at Grandma's house. Farewell, my friends, and thank you, said Father Christmas as he flew away into the starlit sky. Get well soon called Katie and Jack, and as they waved goodbye, they heard one last, far away, Achoo! Katie and Jack took off their snowy coats and tiptoed upstairs. They were so tired, they were soon fast asleep. When Christmas morning dawned, Grandma had to wake them up. Come on, you two, she said. It's Christmas Day. There are presents waiting to be opened. Katie and Jack had lots of lovely gifts, but the very last one left under the Christmas tree was their favourite. It was a beautiful London snow globe. The little note attached read, For my wonderful helpers, Merry Christmas from F.C. Father Christmas. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story and I hope you all have a wonderful end of the term and a very, very happy Christmas. Take care, all of you. I hope to see you one day soon. And lots of love. Bye.